I think that the term sacred is understood in such a way that it's very misleading. So maybe we shouldn't even use it. Sacredness for most people is understood as something that you are not allowed to question because God will punish you. And uh, maybe in a practical sense, that's true. Right? If the cells in your organism are questioning the organism too much, maybe the organism is going to punish them. If they, for instance, become cancer and they are serving their own goals over the goals of the organism, they play a shorter game or a different game than the organism does. And uh, But in from this perspective of the individuals, of the cells and so on, that makes no sense. The sacredness is a condition that you observe. Am I implemented in such a way that I consider this and that to be sacred? So, for instance, you could say life on earth is sacred to me. But what does that mean? Does this mean that there is an objective reason that it must be like this. No, it's not. It might be something that you observe yourself to be in. You can try to figure out why that is the case, but it's uh, basically you observe a choice that your mind has made. And that choice can be instrumental to another choice. And you can question sacredness all the way you want as if you're an autonomous mind. And so you can ask yourself, uh, is this a shared purpose? And should you serve that shared purpose? Is this a purpose that is more important than your ego? And should it be a shared purpose that is more important than your ego? And uh, in this sense, sacredness is uh, an empirical property that is the result of decisions that are being made by different minds. And it's the, it's the decision which purposes should be shared and which purposes should, be, uh, should the ego uh, accept above itself. And uh, ultimately, there is no reason why a mind should be doing anything that is intrinsically there. There are just some minds that were able to stabilize and propagate and others that fell apart or didn't propagate. So it's, it's just an evolutionary criterion. Evolution itself is not intrinsically good or uh, bad. It's, it's just a thing that happens in the sense that it's a model that describes what we can observe around us and makes it predictable and interpretable. So you always have to, when you try to understand these things at a deep level, go uh, outside of the world in which they are implemented. Try to understand that the world is some kind of computer game and you are the programmer. And there are lots of agents or lots of bots in the computer game and you try to give them uh, policies that they act on. And the bots are smart enough to question all these policies, at least some of them are, and come up with their own. And you have uh, whatever policies you design have to be resilient against uh, other agents questioning your policies and coming up with different perspectives and solutions, right? You can never stop them from doing that. And uh, you also have to realize that there is not actually an outside force, right? There is no outside designer of this world. There's only an outside modeler. So you can make your model of the world any way you want it to be, your understanding of the world. You're allowed to question anything. You're allowed to tear down every thought and idea that you have about the world. And you can construct very different objects and color categories and whatnot. That's all up to you. And uh, it, your only duty is to make them predictive, to uh, allow you to help you to interpret the world and act on it meaningfully. Right? This is the situation that you're in. So this deep safety net where there is an adult force outside of the universe doesn't exist. This idea that uh, there is uh, the fairy coming to King Arthur, handing him the sword and tell them, this is your destiny. And this uh, fairy uh, is uh, expressing the will of the universe. This is not how it works. The universe doesn't want anything. This fairy is just a random magical creature that has political ideas about what's useful for their faction within the magical creature kingdom. Uh, if they implement this form of government and make this hapless individual the one who thinks that he should be king, right? There is always a reason. And the reason is something that you can always figure out usually, or somebody can figure it out. There is nobody who has uh, privileged access to the structure of reality. And so there is no way in which you could think this is what we need to make on humanity, uh, on, on the planet. There is no sacred social order that we are destined to reach this, this romanticism is wrong.